What's up guys and it's finally here, the long awaited Samsung Galaxy Note 10 Plus. I know I am late to the party but better late than never. It's truly an ultimate flagship beast just holding it for the first time in my hand. It felt extremely premium. The first impressions were absolutely amazing. So I spent a full day with the Galaxy Note 10 Plus playing it around and I also updated to its latest software update which Samsung just recently rolled that fixed some bugs and also enhanced some security things and now I think is completely ready to go on a full-on war with the iPhone 10s Max. So welcome to the speed test battle and before we start off let's just take a look at the benchmarks and you can see the iPhone 10s Max still has last year's chipset but it still is little bit ahead of the Galaxy Note 10 Plus when it comes to benchmark scores. I think that's really impressive. Even if you're not an Apple fan, I think you should appreciate this. But you can see the Note 10 Plus is catching up just fine. But we are more interested in a real life performance battle. So let's get right into it. As always, I'm going to kick things off with a boot up comparison. Here we go. And... The Note 10 Plus that I have is the Exodus model, the Exodus 9825 chip, uh, slightly updated compared to the chipset that we have on the S10 Plus. And let's see which one turns on first with their respective software. Of course, the Galaxy Note 10 Plus done. And we can unlock it. The iPhone is on as well. Those days are back when the Exynos model is better than the Snapdragon 1. Uh, we don't have the Snapdragon 855 Plus on the US Note 10 model, so I think this is the best version to go up against the iPhone. Also, I'm rocking 12 gigs of RAM on the Note 10 Plus. You can see a ridiculous amount of RAM, whereas the iPhone XS Max just has 4 gigs of RAM. So it's going to be interesting to see the RAM management as well. So as always, I'm going to start off with the basic stuff first, starting with the phone dollar here we go and uh, you can see it felt a little bit quicker on the note 10 plus obviously a uh, bit of a difference between the animations settings and that felt about the same on both phones let's see Instagram and that is uh, slightly quicker on the Samsung Galaxy note 10 plus if we just go ahead and do a test of scrolling um, Okay, that actually felt a bit smoother on the iPhone in the start, but I think, yeah, now it's smooth on the Note 10 Plus as well. Now, I've been using the Instagram on the Note 10 Plus, and I think this app does need an update. So, Instagram, if you're watching this video, I will appreciate if you do that real quick. Uh, checking out my profile, load up faster on the iPhone. So... That's about the same. Let's quickly check out the Insta camera launch timing and a little bit quicker on the iPhone 10s Max. Moving on to some exciting stuff, starting with Asphalt 9 game. So, like I said, we have 12 gigs of RAM, and I think I'm going to utilize that RAM to a good use. We'll have a lot of games in the speed test, and Apple, they just have to step their stuff up. I mean, 4 gb of RAM is unacceptable. So Note 10 Plus, uh, faster there. iPhone XS Max took some time. Also, I hope the Note 10 Plus also get the 60 frames per second Asphalt 9 update like we have on the iPhone XS Max. Next on the list is Subway Surfers. And that is, uh, let's see. Okay. Faster on the iPhone, a little bit quicker. Let's go inside the game, and we're just gonna leave it there. Next is Plus vs. Zombies 2. And, okay, Note 10 Plus took some time to launch that application, but can it catch up to the iPhone? Okay, it does. Okay, that was, uh, that was a great comeback. The iPhone took some time loading up the profile. Next up, we have YouTube. And quicker on the Samsung Galaxy Note 10 Plus. Obviously a bit of different feed, but it's quicker on the Note 10 Plus. Twitter. And Note 10 Plus super duper quick. iPhone took some time. Once again, if we do a bit of scrolling around. Super smooth experience. Pin out. And that's about the same on both phones. Next up, we have Cora. And that is quicker on the Samsung Galaxy Note 10 Plus. And if we take a look at the scrolling speed, 
once again everything is smooth and quick on both devices next we have spotify and uh, definitely quicker on the galaxy note 10 plus time to launch another game that's going to be smash hit one of my favorite games of all time and uh, that is quicker on the note 10 plus slightly quicker there the time for the 8k image rendering comparison so i'm going to open up the Photoshop Express application on both phones. You can see that was super quick on the iPhone. Time to load the image at the same time. That's about the same. So I've just applied some raindrop effect. I'm also gonna put the clarity all the way to the max. And let's go ahead and export this image in full 8K. You can see the iPhone is still loading up, whereas the Note 10 Plus is ready to export. We're gonna bring the quality all the way to max here. And for some reason, iPhone is still taking some time. We're just going to wait for it a bit. I figure it must be all the applications that I've opened in the background. I'm going to close it and go to this page once again. And this is still taking some time. Okay, so finally, it took about a good 15, 20 seconds to load to this page. Let's go ahead and export this image real quick. One, two, three, go. And... The iPhone is done. Okay, so iPhone took a lot of time to get this image ready for export, uh, but it was quicker in actually exporting the image, whereas the Note 10 Plus was uh, fairly quick in both uh, functions. So I gotta say Note 10 Plus was a bit better here uh, with loading this image quickly to the export page. And it fell faster with the rendering as well, thanks to the UFS 3.0 compared to the S10 Plus family when I compared that phone. So now last but not the least, I'll be launching cameras on both phones and that kind of felt a little bit quicker on the iPhone XS Max. Now time for some browsing wars, starting with WWE.com and I'm using the default browsers on both devices. And you can see the iPhone XS Max took some time there. The Note 10 Plus was indeed quicker. Uh, let's check out the scrolling. Uh, super, super quick performance on both phones. No lag whatsoever. Same thing with zooming in and out. Now moving on to next website, which is gsmarena.com. And uh, let's see, the Galaxy Note 10 Plus first on the website and it also is finished up faster. Uh, leaving the iPhone behind, so that's uh, that's that. The uh, Note 10 Plus clean sweeps the iPhone when it comes to the browsing bar, but let's get down to the exciting part, which is the RAM management. I opened so many applications, I have no idea what to expect from the iPhone because of its four GB of RAM, but I have a strong faith with the Galaxy Note 10 Plus. Okay, so that was a slight refresh on the iPhone XS Max. I'm not sure if it's gonna happen with all the applications. So going with the settings, I think that's still there. Let's see, we're gonna find out for sure when we launch Instagram, it got loaded up on the iPhone. It definitely got refreshed. I'm just gonna open Instagram on the Note. Look at that. It's actually keeping it in the memory, not just in the memory. I left it here in the camera mode and it's still there. That is super quick performance. Asphalt 9. Okay, both phones are actually on the loading page, so this could be a in-app refresh that this app does. So maybe iPhone is still keeping applications in memory. Let's see Subway Surfers, that's still there, but got refresh on the iPhone, wow. Note 10 Plus is going strong. Plus versus Zombies 2, that is still there on the Galaxy Note 10 Plus versus the iPhone Dennis Max, which again, lowered the whole application. YouTube? That is still there on both phones. iPhone is still surprisingly keeping some stuff in the memory. Pinout, still there on both phones. Cora, still there. Oh, okay, so it actually got refreshed on the iPhone. Spotify, and got refreshed again. Smash hit. Apple has to upgrade the RAM or it just cannot compete against, against the Galaxy Note 10 Plus. So last but not the least, we have the browsers. So all in all, I think the Note 10 Plus just completely destroyed the iPhone when it comes to RAM management because how can you lose when you have 12 gigs of RAM? The iPhone XS Max did pretty good when it comes to apps opening. I mean, of course, it's not the latest iPhone. Uh, the next big challenge for the Note 10 Plus is coming in September in the form of iPhone 11 Pro. But the XS Max with 4GB of RAM is just doesn't cut it anymore. The Note 10 Plus is the king 
for true multitasking. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below uh, what more videos you guys want to see regarding the Note 10 Plus. And be sure to give this video a thumbs up and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.